Today, I'm looking at the Korg Nano Key Studio MIDI keyboard. We're going to unbox it, do a system update, and then we're going to look at some of the things it can do. My first impressions of this, I was really disappointed. It really looked and felt like a toy. That's for you, Rich. It was uh, well made, but the keys, they didn't have any indication that, that you were pressing them other than yeah, going up and down. Keyboard. The knobs there. move really well, like and the... Uh, top cord keys, oh, I did buy this. they have a feel it's to them. And um, I was real disappointed too because the cable was a older USB micro to USB. I thought that might be a problem. But once I started using this thing, I was really enthralled. I mean, this thing does everything. And it, it does seem like something you could just throw in your backpack and haul around. I mean, it's a real... Solid mm -hmm. toy. Batteries are good. Um, so in essence, it is a toy for so musicians. Make it double A. Okay, make sure they're going the right way. It's always really important. Okay, so we've got the keyboard right here. You've got three different selectors here. You've got to the left is in USB mode, in the middle, standby, and all the way to the right, it's battery slash Bluetooth. Okay, so we got that. This needs a system update before it'll work with the Bluetooth on the iOS. I'm going to use an adapter. This is the Apple adapter, USB to USB-C. And here is the cord that came with your nano key, USB to USB micro. Okay, so I'll plug this end in here for my computer. And now on your cord, make sure it's the selector is all the way to the left on the USB. And then you're going to want to press octave down and sustain while you plug in the USB. Okay, and that shows you it's in update mode. And from there, you're going to go to the software that you downloaded from Korg, and you're going to do a check, and it will check to see if you've updated this. So let me get that going. Okay, so we've got our Nano Key Studio Updater. We're going to click on, and we're going to click Detect. So it's going to scan and find your Nano Key. Okay, and mine's already up to date, so it'll tell you if you need to update or not. Okay, so we got that squared away. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, put it in standby, disconnect, and now we're ready to use this with our iOS device. Korg has a lot of free downloads. I haven't even gotten into any of those. I just kind of got this to play with, and I'm really liking it. Let's go into GarageBand. We'll do keyboard sounds. And you've got chord pads here. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got the easy scale. And you've got a scale guide. You've got so many different things. I couldn't begin to go through all of it. Um, you've got an arpeggio. And you can make that go faster and slower. Shift. You've got scenes. And it works with other apps. Let's see, let me go into Thumb Jam. I like that one a lot. I like the chord thing. And you can change keys. There's so many things that you can do here. Change octaves. I am not a MIDI program person, but I just got this to play with, and I thought it might be something that other guitarists might want to play with. It feels like a toy, but what it does, it can do so many different things, and I mean, the sky is the limit. You can go into their software and program this. You can program it on board here. You can program it through your iPad. It's endless. Get on your keyboard and search for the Korg Nano Key 
Korg has a whole bunch of videos on it, and they show you different things, how to use it and what to do. That's what I have for this week. Take care, and I will see you next week.